Peace family, welcome back to our Credit Healing channel. So today we're going to discuss a topic that is very pertinent and important for those of you who may be either trying to build credit or you are looking to help someone such as a child, um, pre you know, preferably someone who's 18, 19, 20 years old, and you want to help them to be able to establish credit. And so what we're going to be discussing with you today is what is the minimum credit score that everyone starts off with when they first start building credit? Let's get into it. So before we actually delve into that particular answer, we want to discuss uh, something prior, and that is what is the threshold? So what is the starting credit score as well as what is the ending credit score? So the minimum credit score for everyone is 300 and the highest credit score for everyone is an 850. Now, you may say to yourself, well, if the minimum is a 300 and we're starting off, therefore everyone starts off with 300. That's not true. And this is why it's not true, because everyone doesn't necessarily start off at that particular point. Mostly everyone starts off around the 500 on um, credit score range. Now, the reason that they allow you to start off from this particular uh, credit score is 500 to 550 is because they want you to be able to build up, build up your scores. Now, if you start off at 300, then guess what? It's going to take a very long time to get up to 850. But if you start off at a 500, then they do kind of give you some leeway to where that you can start establishing credit. Now, that we have answered that question, we want to go and delve into that question and answer as to how you begin to build credit if you don't have any established. Well, this is how you do it. One of the easiest ways to do it is by basically getting a secure credit card. You can go to your local uh, bank or you know your local branch uh, as well as a credit union and you can basically ask them uh can i get a secure credit card typically you know say for instance um they want you to put down anywhere between 300 to 500 as a minimum and when you put it down you deposit that money and then you have to basically utilize your own funds to uh basically build your credit so you have to pay it on time etc now after six to eight uh months or so then what you would do is you can call them or go up to the branch i recommend seeing them in person because sometimes when you go up to the bank and you see people in person then they're more liable to uh, want to work with you so after that particular time frame then you can say well hey um i've been paying this particular uh, credit card on time can i go about um or can i start to um establish my credit by using uh, an unsecured credit card well, what is an unsecured credit card well it's different than a secure credit card an unsecured credit card is simply a credit card um that is unsecured so there's no uh you don't have any funds attached to it you're utilizing other people's money or credit or uh, the bank's credit to begin to establish your own credit and so if you're starting off it's going to be anywhere between one thousand um to two thousand dollars it may be a little less than that uh, for an unsecured credit card because they want to see what you can do and how, and if you're going to prove yourself as to being a person who's worthy of uh, being able to obtain credit and then utilize it and spend it responsibly and then go about building your credit that way so they want to you're going to start off at a smaller limit and then you as time progresses you're going to increase now i would recommend that every five to six months you call your bank and you tell your bank hey I've been making these payments on time. Can I go ahead and um, can you increase the credit limit for this particular credit card? Many times they will they'll increase it. They'll start off small. So they may start off with $300 here. And then over time, you'll start to increase and they'll eventually increase it $1,000, $3,000, $6,000, etc. But you have to make sure that you make your credit card payments on time and you don't miss any payments if you miss any payments then what's going to happen is that they're not going to uh basically extend or increase your credit limit until after a period of time so make sure that you always pay your bills on time so that's just a little tip as to how you build your credit um, when you start off around the 500 uh, credit score range um, there's other ways that you can do it as well we're going to discuss them such as with our AU trade lines but if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us at credithealing at gmail.com if you're ready to get started go to www.credithealing.org peace